Hello guys, how is everyone doing? Welcome back. So today I'll be talking about some philosophy. I came across this book. It's called The Art of Living and it's by Epictetus. He's a Stoic philosopher. I read this book already and when I found it a few days ago, I went over it and then I saw this phrase that I had marked it. Uh, there's many marked phrases that I really liked and they were... Blows your mind. Amazing, 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 amazing. And today we'll pick one and I'll try to analyze it and give you my thoughts because I think I have to, you know, add this to my life as well and some of you maybe. So let's let's start. Oh, before I start, before I start, <gasps> have some water, have some drinks, have some coffee, something. Join me, sit back, relax, look at this, you know, let's start. You ready? Yes, no, yes. Okay, let's go then. And quote, the overvaluation of money, status, and competition poisons our personal relations. The flourishing life cannot be achieved until we moderate our desires and see how superficial and fleeting they are. Wow, amazing, <clears throat> amazing, amazing. Okay, so let me start. Where do I start? Two things to keep in mind. His word, he said over evaluation and moderate. Okay, so those are the two key words in the phrases. Let's start. Why do we over evaluate uh, to begin with? Okay, uh, we over evaluate things because we think we're going to become happy. So we, we have this notion that, hey, if I get status, I'll feel better, I'll be happy. And the same with money. Hey, if I get a lot of money, I'll be happy again. That's what he's saying. But then he says that if we think like that and we over evaluate those things too much, we'll start getting vices. We'll start, our personality will start changing, right? Oh, how? You, you said how? Oh, well, here, let me give you some examples. I wrote them right there on my screen. Banks, right? Banks lie to you and to me, right? With your IPR. Uh, credit cards lie. Uh, doctors, some of them, uh, you know, I don't want to say try to scam you, but, you know, they might give you drugs that you don't need, I don't need in order for them to get their small cut of money from the drug company, pharmaceuticals. The same with dentists. Uh, another example is car mechanics. You know, there is this prevalent notion that, hey, you know, car mechanics lie in order to get more money and, you know, they might actually break something on purpose or they might say that you need something. Uh, Jiffy Loop, if you guys remember, they were on hot waters because of that. And uh, uh, that's a different story, but yes, people do that, car mechanics. Why? To get more money so they got poisoned the virtues that we are supposed to have which is you know be honest truthful sincere etc all of those go out the door so you can get more money so then you start becoming a liar a thief dishonest and that team over there the bad one so in other words over evaluation of money is a no no now let's go to status. Uh, what is status? Status, I feel it's the same as ego, that we want to feel good about ourselves, right? Like, oh, I have the status. Some examples again, let me check over here, is expensive cars. People buy expensive cars, why? You know, to feel superior than someone else. The same with handbags that uh, women buy, right? Why do you need a $2,000 bag or $5,000 bag? Like, I cannot comprehend that. Now I'm going on a rant. Why? It's nothing special. It's the same package. Well, it's to feel superior. I mean, that's the only thing. It's like, hey, you know, I have this handbag. It's five grand. It's a Gucci or whatever other brands there exist. It's what's what's on is it? Oh, Louis Vuitton. Why? Because, you know, just to feel special, superior. You got it, right? You got the point. Uh, the same with clothing brands, right? Uh, because, you know, oh, I wear, I'm wearing this Dolce & Cabana or Versace. It costed this $20 billion, this shirt. So I'm better than everyone else and th that's that fake notion that's fake superiority that does absolutely nothing another example is mothers even right like oh my my kid is going to ballet or my kid is learning piano what does your kid doing like oh my kid is much better than yours like oh i'm so better than everyone else oh my god what right yeah, you have seen him like why again like it doesn't do anything it's fake sense of superiority Oh, I heard someone say this something. Someone said, oh, but I have a very nice car, but I actually enjoy my car. I'm passionate about cars. Then, yes, that's the correct perspective. If you enjoy something and that's your passion, because I know people that are very into cars, 
and they buy it for themselves. They know how to change the engine, they know to do all these things because they love cars. So that's fine. It's the reason you buy the car. Now, if you buy the car just to show off and, you know, to feel superior, it's like, ah, no. So guys, the point is we soon overvaluated money or status and try and live our life only for those things. Uh, I think that's what the guy is trying to say, the author. So yeah, let's sit back, okay, relax, take a deep breath, again, your water, and moderate ourselves. Yes, it'll be nice to have those things, but I'm not going to kill myself, and I'm not going to become another person. I'm not going to become a liar, or a thief, or dishonest, in order to get those. It's, we need to stay human, right? Uh, yeah? Well, thank you very much for joining me again. Please uh, drink, and... I'll see you in another episode. Again, thanks very much. If you like the video, you can subscribe, like, dislike, comment, etc. I'm a dirty.